Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Elephant Rock State Park. Elephant Rock State Park is located in southeastern Missouri, about an hour and a half south of St. Louis. There's plenty of parking and they also have nice bathrooms with flushing toilets. For context, I'm a husband and dad to three teenage daughters, and that stuff's important to them. Just outside the parking area, you'll find a lot of different picnic tables sprinkled in between all the large rocks and trees. So if you bring a lunch, be sure to pack out your own trash and try not to litter. As you make your way back to the trail, you'll come across a couple of different uh, information areas where you can pick up different brochures to get to information about the areas and also uh, learn the history of the park. There's roughly about seven acres of giant granite boulders that you can both climb on and run around on. It's called Elephant Rocks because those giant boulders at the beginning of this video stand end to end like a train of circus elephants. The largest boulder is called Dumbo and it's about 27 feet tall, about 34 feet long, about 17 feet wide, and is estimated to weigh about 680 tons. All right, so let's get out and explore the park some. So basically you got three uh, rock ridges uh, here on the left, middle, and right side. You can run up either side. Thing is, when you get up here, you'll see that there is a good drop on either side with people walking down there in there in between the rocks and that one you go in through there as a like a tunnel leaves have collected where the two rocks have butted up next to each other and it comes out the other side <clears throat> and you got several spots where you have to step over big gappy gappy and on up and over. I'm going to go back to my backpack. The giant boulders here make a natural playground for kids of all ages. It's a lot of fun just hopping around from rock to rock. The boulders also make giant mazes for kids to run around in, in between all the different boulders and stuff as they find different pathways. Aside from having all kinds of fun climbing the rocks, you can also get a permit to do some rappelling. There are also a couple different lakes here at the park, and you can go fishing in the designated areas. As you're hopping around on top of the rocks, or maybe you're running in between them, some of them can start to look pretty similar, so be sure not to get lost from your party. All right, we are in Fat Man Squeeze right now. I don't even have to suck it in. So I guess I don't have to work out this summer. All right, let's push my luck. <gasps> oh, I have to suck it in on that one. <sighs> this is one of the lakes here at the park. If I remember right, there are three of them all together. As far as I know, there is no swimming allowed here at the park. There are many, many paths to explore around here. I mean, basically there's um, little trails around every other big rock. You just kind of have to pick your spot you want to go and just wander around. There are many, many people here too, by the way. I'm back through uh, Fat Man Squeeze. Easy peasy. They have a paved trail going all around the park. It's called the Braille Trail. It's meant for people with disabilities so that they can enjoy the park as well.
As you're out on top of all the rocks, if you're climbing around on top of them, the data in me wants to caution you that you're going to be exposed out there uh, to all the weather, so you're going to have a lot of sun coming down on you, and it's going to get hot, and it can be unbearable. And all the heat is going to be reflecting up off of the rocks also. Um, so please be uh, be cautious when you're out uh, hiking around, and use uh, protective head headwear uh, or sunscreen, uh, and make sure that you stay hydrated as well. There are several little lizards that are running around this park as well. You'll see them underneath the rocks or climbing all over them. Now these little lizards, they'll feast on things like bugs and such, but they also have predators. So be sure to watch out for snakes while you guys are exploring around the rocks. Now by this point, I've been separated from my wife and all my kids. They are down at the car, they're all waiting on me, and I'm taking forever in their eyes. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang out at the base of some of these rocks, and I'm just going to explore in between some of the little nooks and crannies and all that stuff. We'll just take a look around at some of the base of the rocks and uh, see some of the trails in between them. Again, this is just a small sample, as there is so much more here at this park than what I'm showing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.